Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we are going to talk about three important updates and the first one is regarding Donier Do228 aircraft regarding which recently we have made an extensive detailed video. So on 10th March 2023 the Ministry of Defense has signed a contract for the procurement of six upgraded Donier Do228 aircraft for Indian Air Force from HAL at a cost of rupees 667 crore. The new aircraft will have upgraded fuel efficient engines coupled with a five bladed composite propeller. The procurement is aimed to further bolster the Indian Air Force capability from remote areas and short or semi prepared runways. These aircraft will be used by Air Force for routine transport roles and communication duties. HL's DO-228 aircraft will be manufactured by Transport Aircraft Division at Kanpur. The division has expertise in manufacturing, transport and trainer aircrafts. Now talking about DO-228, it is a twin turboprop STOL that is short takeoff and landing utility aircraft. It can transport up to 19 passengers and cargo. The aircraft can be used in various mission roles due to its 10 hour flight endurance, a wide operating range, low operational cost and varied equipment range. The aircraft has maximum cruise speed of 428 km per hour and range of 700 km with day and night flying capability. Our second update and another most important update is regarding the Boeing's freighter converter. So on 10th March 2023, Boeing has announced an agreement with GMR Aero Technique to establish new Boeing converted freighter line in Hyderabad. Now, Boeing has more than 40 years of experience in passenger to freighter conversion. GMR Aero Technique will be the first Boeing supplier in India that will have the capability to support future conversions for both domestic and foreign aircraft. According to a release from Boeing, the collaboration adds to its continued investment to support cargo growth and help expand complex aircraft modification capabilities, maintenance, repair and overhaul in India in support of India's aspiration to become an aviation and aerospace hub. The announcement also came less than a month after Boeing backed an order for 220 aircraft from Air India. According to Boeing's commercial market outlook, India's cargo growth is expected to average 6.3% annually driven by countries' manufacturing and e-commerce sectors including its Make in India initiative. Boeing forecast demand for more than 75 freighters including production and converted freighters. Now our third and last update is regarding India's aircraft carrier. Now as we all know that Anis Vikramadit came out of a 15 months refit at Karwar Naval Base has commenced sea trials after major overhaul. The aircraft carrier will be handed over to Indian Navy after 31st March 2023. The Navy is planning to commence the flight trials from Anis Vikramadit as soon as it is handed over. The Navy is racing to get Vikramadit battle ready before the onset of monsoon. Even India's second aircraft carrier INS Vikrant will be fully operational post-monsoon. So in summary, both aircraft carriers can be seen operational by mid of this year. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.